Hi guys, this is Peugeot 307SW from 2005 and today we're going to clean the throttle. The video will also show you how to replace it in case you need to do that. So first of all to get access to throttle we need to release the brake fluid reservoir from its place. And we do it by removing these two screws. One, and the second one. Now we need to remove bolts that you will find here. I don't have that bolt, uh, none of them, uh, but if you have them just remove them. And then you want to remove this bolt and the same bolt on the other side, this one. And now you can remove the whole seal together with protection. Now if you take a look at the cover, apart from some impressive amount of dirt, it has additional fixing points. In my case this has been broken, it, it was not actually me that broke it, but I could as well just do that because I didn't know about it. And now if you take a look on the inside part there, you can see one here and it's very easy to remove they are much larger and then there's one there not sure if you can see that let me put the lamp a bit closer. So there's one here and there's also one there. So remember to look for them before you start pulling the cover because you can destroy it not that it's a big thing if you destroy it, but well, it's better to have something functional than something that is destroyed. And now we have enough space to work on the air supply line here. And that is your throttle there. Next, we make ourselves some more room and then we disconnect this hose. So what you need to do is to push it towards this pipe and press on the yellow button here and then pull it out. Okay, and now we disconnect these two straps here. 
we can actually loosen them, you don't need to remove them completely. Okay, when the straps are loose, you can just pull them out. Once you have the hose out, you can inspect it for any kind of debris, dirt, and clean it. It's always good. You don't want the, well, basically this pipe is on the downstream part, so it's after the filter. That's your air filter and this is the air that comes into your engine through the throttle. So all the dirt that is here is going to come directly to your engine and is going, it's not going to be stopped by the filter which is upstream. And now, if we approach the throttle from the left side of the car, we will be able to see how it looks like. And now, we need to remove this three bolts. There's one there as well. I'm not sure if you see that. Before we start to remove the screws, we need to disconnect this electrical cable. So you lift this up and you pull the cable out. There's also um, the clamp here. You just get it out. Okay, and now we remove the screws. Okay, so now we can remove the throttle. Okay, if we now have a look at the throttle, you can see that it's very dirty, at least mine. And that's a very likely cause of your car not keeping the RPMs at the same level when on neutral. So if you have that problem, check your throttle, clean it properly and install it back, it should help you. You clean it with a rag and alcohol based spray. As you see, the debris is coming off quite easy. You can see how much debris there was. 
It's a thick layer actually. I'll fight with it for a moment or two and then we get back to installing everything in place. The throttle is clean now, this is how it looks like, much better than it was, and it works fine. And you see this is what happens when you accelerate, throttle opens more and gives more air to the combustion chamber and therefore you get more power. So let's go back to the car. Now before we install the throttle back we can clean this surface first. Now we can also lubricate it. And now we're ready to put the throttle back. Now if you see you have two guiding pins of different sizes and same here. You have two holes for the guiding pins so you basically can't install it incorrect. And the bolts. Okay, now we install the cable, so we put it in the clamp. We press it in place and then we install We press the hose uh, until it clicks and then we install the second connection to the compartment with the filter. And now we tighten both clamps or straps okay and now we install the cover
Now we can install the bolts on the sides. And now you need to remember to install these caps back. Okay, all done. Now we need to install braking fluid reservoir in place. You need to slide it in. Okay, now count your bolts and screws and if you're left with none, that means that we're done. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and if you'd like to check out more Peugeot 307 mechanics, check my channel out, I've got plenty of videos about this car and good luck with your Peugeot!